welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have my second series of my holiday looks going on i have this look in mind but i'm not too sure how it's gonna turn out and i'm so so excited you guys already know i love love the holidays got so much good love on my first holiday look that i wanted to do a second addition to it you can clearly use this look for any type of occasion a party if you're just going out to the grocery store and you need to look popping girl this is a, the look for you i recently have been loving this aqua four i think that's how you say it lip balm i love it i ooh, yes this one and my nivea one i love them guys so if you have dry lips use them they work wonders so we're gonna start off my brows are already done semi i was starting them and then i'm like let me just record a video i'm just gonna be filling in the rest of my brows and i'm just using my elf pomade you guys already know it's my favorite one and this one is in medium brown I'm trying to go for more of a thin brow today I always say that i'm gonna go for a thin brow but honestly that never happens recently instead of using my milani brush that i usually always use for my brows i started using the anastasia 12 i've just been loving how much control i've been getting with this brush i feel like the other one like i like it i still like it but i just feel like this one is a tad bit better to set my brows and lock them in place i'm going to be using this la colors browy wowy brow tint I'm going to be using my conceal concealer and I'm going to be using the Ulta Beauty High Coverage Concealer. This concealer has been my holy grail recently. I just love the coverage it gives me and it's really affordable guys. Today's look, we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe Palette. Guys, this is so beat up. Let's just wait until I show you the inside. It's it's really beat up. I just love it. This honestly, this palette honestly has every type of color you are looking for. And I just love how they blend out. It's just amazing. I can just say wonderful things about it. So I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here. And this one is called Creamsicle. I have like the names on the back of my palette. I'm going to grab Creamsicle and apply it to my crease for my transition shade. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, I love it. I'm going to try to zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can really see what's what's going on. Wow, that was a lot of product. So I guess just apply it all over the lid. We'll fix it up. We're going to be grabbing this shade right here and this one is called Raxan applying it also on the crease but on the lower crease i seriously forgot how pigmented these shadows were i feel like i haven't used this palette in a while and that's because i've been using so many new products that have been coming out guys i'm so overwhelmed with all these products and all these lines deciding to come out with everything at one time like i don't have enough money right now to be spending new products but honestly their products look so good and i'm just like wow i need that and then on the other side my bank account's like um no you don't i feel like ColourPop definitely this year stepped out their game there's so many new products that they're coming out with it's crazy to keep up with them I feel like every time I check their Instagram, it's just like, oh, we have a new release tomorrow or we have a new release this week. I think I can say definitely ColourPop has great deals. I feel like sometimes whenever they come out with releases, they have like the free shipping. Why, why does this always happen? I always forget to mute my phone. But anyways, I feel like they always have like the free shipping or the you spend $20 and you get like some percentage off. That's why I like ColourPop. Recently on my videos, I've been getting so much love from you guys and I just want to thank you. <laughs> I literally just want to thank you guys. Trust me, there's some times when I'm just like, um, I'm just going to stop right here. Like, is it even worth it? Like, do people actually like my 
contact I put out. It's 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 a hard situation honestly because you know I'm just starting off but so far I've been so so impressed and I want to thank you guys all so much for giving me good feedback and you know it's fine I perfectly understand that some things I'm not really good at or some things I need to work on better but or some things I need to work on more but that helps me my favorite type of eye look i don't know if you guys can know by how much times i re actually do this eye look but i love doing half cut creases i just love the way they look on my eyes personally i think they're super super easy so i always try to show you guys like an easier way every time i do it and i try and like some people actually have a learned from my techniques that i show you guys so for today's look, we're going to be doing a half cut crease. I'm going to be using my concealer and then grabbing a flat brush. But basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go a little bit on top of my crease that I have. And basically cut it. I'm going to be grabbing some of my translucent powder and basically setting this concealer. You guys already know, always set your creams. Going back with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm going to be grabbing the second shade right here. And this one is called Bean. I'm going to be grabbing another flat brush. This one is by Vanity Planet. I love their brushes. And we're gonna grab the product on the brush and spray our brush with some setting spray to give it an extra help to really stand out and we're gonna be applying the shade to our lid exactly where we cut it grabbing this dark brown shade and this one is called Central Park and then I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of the black and this one is called Atlas and I'm just going to be mixing that together and applying it to my outer corner just about the outer corner I don't want to bring it up to the middle of my half cut crease that we did I feel like I always do that and I just want to do something a little bit different a fluffy brush and just blending out that color to my crease blending out any harsh edge guys that is basically it for the eye look I'm not gonna do any wing eyeliner I feel like that's perfectly fine I'm just gonna apply some lashes these kiss lashes in the style gala I've been loving obsessing over these lashes recently guys so my lashes are on and I quickly forgot to tell you I'm going to be applying some highlight to my brow bone and the one I'm going to be using is wet and wild golden flower crown I love this highlighter guys it's the best gold highlighter ever and of course it's super super affordable How I like to do this I like to be grabbing a flat brush and wetting my brush i feel like i wet my brush for everything and because it, it just gives me like that extra help or it gives like the shadow extra help and i'm just going to be applying it to my brow bone to give it a little bit of a lift and i really want to show you guys something that i've been loving obsessing over and how it just leaves my skin looking extra smooth glowy refreshing and recently i went to my tj maxx near me and i got this advanced clinicals clogging instant plumping serum it's like a serum and i was i'm always scared to use these because honestly i'm so oily and i just feel like these types of products just make my face look more oily than it already is but with this it literally feels like heaven on my face i feel like i just need to rub it all over my face it's like a moisturizer basically and it just helps my face look extra smooth like plump like it says i'm gonna redo the claims 
real quick and i believe this was only five dollars if you have a, a tj maxx near you or like a marshall's i definitely recommend you guys to go and like check out their cosmetics area because i feel like there's so much unknown products that they have that honestly are great and this one i found it and I've been obsessing over it. Does give you like see like a very like refreshing, glowy, plumped, plumps up look. It is a little tacky, so that's perfect for before the foundation. After that, I'm gonna prime my face, and to prime my face, I'm gonna be using this Wet n Wild primer. And guys, I've been where is it? I love love this Hangover Primer by Too Faced. But honestly, it, it broke me out like right here. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Milani, Milani, <laughs> Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And this one is in shade medium, wait, creamy vanilla. I know they created the lightest shade, but I just haven't had time to purchase it. I do feel like the shade is a tad bit darker. Definitely, I need to go and purchase the O1 shade that they have. I just love this coverage. Guys, if you need a drugstore full coverage foundation, this is the way to go. Again, my Ulta Beauty Concealer. And guys, I keep looking at my viewfinder. I'm so sorry. I'm still not used to this whole new camera thing. Oh my gosh. And it looks really bad whenever I edit my videos. I'm like, okay, why am I looking up? I'm looking up. This is the way I'm supposed to be looking. I'm looking that way. <laughs> so I feel like it kind of helped it out. I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. I don't like applying concealer to the top of my nose because I just feel like it just rubs it off whenever I blend it out. Cream contour. <laughs> I'm so excited and nervous at the same time. So if you guys saw my first impressions video i believe it was i'll link it down below and because if, if you didn't um you're missing out on a long a video of me trying a bunch of stuff out but this one i got it i think it was maple i have it right here the one that i tried on that video it's called oaks on you and i really didn't like the shade i felt like it just i didn't like it so then i went to purchase and um, call me maple by wet and wild and i'm just gonna Oh, okay. I need to calm down because I still don't know really what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I really do like it. I think this is like my like fifth time cream contouring or trying to cream contour. So I'm not too sure how it turned out. But oh, I like it. I like it. Okay, so going back to setting everything in place. I'm going to grab my airspun powder. Contour up. I'm going to be grabbing this Lancome bronzer, travel size bronzer from Lancome, and I've been loving it. I'm actually really scared to see how much the real price or a full size product is because let's just say that Lancome is. Lancome, is that how you say it? Lancome? Lancome? Yeah. Um, their products aren't as affordable, but I just love this bronzer. I'll be grabbing my Milani blush, and this one is in Luminoso. This is my favorite, favorite blush ever. My lash line, I'm just gonna go in with the black shade and the brown shade so my favorite part of my whole face definitely is going to be highlighting and this one i'm going to be using my artist couture diamond glow powder highlighter and illuminati i got this in my boxy charm and oh, i love it it's a gold it's a loose highlighter glow is on it's so pretty. I love this highlighter. I used to always think that it was way too intense. <sighs> I love it. I'm going to actually apply more after I spray my face and kind of just set everything in. So I'm going to be setting my face with the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. 
I've been loving the Steel Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. And this one is in shade Rub Neo. Rub Neo. Rub Neo. Something like that. said this is all for my tutorial today i hope you guys enjoyed this holiday part two tutorial i kind of wanted to keep it really simple love you guys all so very much and don't forget to subscribe give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoyed and if you want maybe a different type of holiday inspiration look but a little bit harder i feel like i can just take the challenge on but yeah my love so with that being said i hope to see you guys in my next one